I had to turn it up a little bit cause they start hate Like, like, like comment and subscribe, tell me why you wait The real breezy TV on, get that type of day What's up guys, it's your girl Today we are embroidering one of my designs I'm excited, so um, I showed you guys my unboxing video of my brother SE625 so I figured now I need to show you some, uh, please excuse my stuff, hats everywhere. I need to show you guys how I actually embroider. So let's get over to our sewing slash embroidering machine. Okay, so first we're cut it on. Let me just cut the light down some so you can see. Well, there we go. You guys see that? It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Yes. Okay. Let me get them together. I have my USB. Here's my USB. Um, I found out that you just can't use any USB with these. This USB is actually came with my um my print my uh what is it called? My thermal printer so I said let me just try this and it works so I'll be using this one it's a Comer brand I don't know if anybody has the um, any um, whoever has a thermal printer try to use the USB that came with the thermal printer because that's uh, I don't know I was like stressed out like where the hell like anyway so let's put this in here on it goes on the side and on the, on the side I don't know if you guys can see it let me see it right there okay goes on the side so let's get this back up here and I'm going to this button here which is the USB button and here are all my files these are for the thermal printer I'm not going to delete those um, this is a YouTube one that I got from Alan Wade, A Dub Productions on YouTube, and this is what that looks like. And we're going to, I'm gonna take this, and we are going to, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your patches into iron-on patches. So it'll be my first time doing it too. So I figure I might as well do it with you guys. So, oh look, and good old Tupac. What? Yeah, I did that. I did that. I did that. Okay. Also gonna make that a patch, iron-on patch. So let's go. So I'm going to push my arrow button and it's going to bring me to now this is my design right here. This is for my love you first line. Um, I purchased this from Fiverr.com. Um, there are a lot of people on there who digitize. So if money is an issue and you don't know how to use the software because I don't know how to use any of the digitizing software but I'm going to learn. Until then I'm going to use Fiverr. And I'm gonna get my images made. This is my first time using this. I don't like the way this image looks, but it could just be my eyes. Um, so I want to see what it looks like on. Um, I want to see what it looks like as a as a patch. Um, I was gonna, I'm thinking. I was going to use, put it on a shirt, but I think I'm just gonna do a patch. I do have a scrap. What do you guys think? Maybe I should should I do a scrap? Just a scrap piece and see how it comes out. Now I'm going to make a patch. Let's make a patch. Okay, so let me get everything together and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so you guys already know that this is, um, embroidering is new to me. This will be my second video embroidering something. So, um, what you're going to need to make your patch is you're going to need some stabilizer. This is tearaway stabilizer. Um, you can't even see it. Hold up. <laughs> you're going to need some stabilizer. This is tearaway stabilizer sheet right here. I'm gonna take two of these, but what I noticed that even with two, tear away, because they tear away, maybe I need to purchase some regular stabilizer, that it rips when I'm trying to embroider. So, what I did was I do have some fabric here. Some fabric. So I'm gonna take this fabric, and this fabric is, like, is, is, is a polyester, satin kind of fabric. So I'm gonna take this fabric and I'm gonna cut let me show you. Okay. 
the hell? Every time I'm trying to record, somebody outside with some craziness. So here's here is the fabric. So what I'm gonna do with the fabric is I'm gonna take this little piece off. I can use this for something. I don't know what though, but I'll go ahead and take this, cut this little piece here off. Let me zoom you out a little bit so you can see. Here we go. So I'm put that to the side. So what I'm gonna do here. Oh, and I also made this patch too. Laugh now, cry later. Okay. We're gonna make all those into iron on patches. So, here's the stabilizer, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a nice little um, square, just like the stabilizer. I'm just gonna cut it maybe a little bit bigger because I wanna be able to pull it and stretch it. So I'm gonna cut it here. Please excuse my background. My grandson is here. So I'm going to cut this. All the way over. Like that. Okay. So I'm going to just put this over here. Okay. And we're going to take. Oh! She always dropping stuff. Where'd it go? I see the thread. Okay. Here's some thread. A little bobbin. Okay, so I dropped it. I'm always dropping stuff. Okay, so here is here's my hoops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thread. I mean the thread. I'm gonna take the tear away stabilizer, and I have two sheets here. Right, so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it just like this. Just like this. And then I'm gonna take my fabric just like that. Okay? Now the hoops come in come in uh twos, and this is a four by four size hoop. It comes in two parts. So I'm gonna take this and press it inside here. As long as I can find it. Okay, so let me, and you can loosen it up too with this on the side. You see it? So let me, oh, it's already open. Come on, open up. So just snip right in there. Okay, just like that. And I'm gonna pull it a little bit just so I can get it straight. Go ahead and lock it. You just turn it till it closes because it's going to close itself. So that is, you can get it. Okay, try to pull it up a little bit just so we can get it nice and flat. There we go. We don't want no creases in the stuff okay so and this is what it looks like okay so with my design you guys can see right I can barely see it's a glare okay so I click on my design and then I'm going to click set and it brings my design up and that's what my design is going to look like now if you was doing a shirt or a hat or something you would want to um well I'm, I'm recording Katie what is it you would want to position it wherever way your garment is on on the hoop but since it's going to be a patch it doesn't really matter so i am going to okay so you so you can move it you can hit the move button move it but um like up down i can't move it from side to side because it's literally as big it's a four by four so i can't move it too much and then you can hit the size button and make it smaller but I want to leave mine as big as it can be. Okay. You can do that. You can rotate it. You can rotate it. And all that. I'm going to leave mine like that. Um, and what I'm going to do now is go to edit. So now I'm going to click on embroidery. 
So now it's ready, and it's telling me how many colors I need. So, what is, it's telling me I need, so it's gonna be 13 minutes for the red. You guys can see that, 13 minutes for the red. It's going to be three minutes for the black, I can't press it, and another, like a pinkish color, two minutes for that. So I don't know, but I'm a, you, and the good thing about this, no matter what the colors is, you can make it whatever color you want to make it but this is my image so I'm going to make it how how I want it to be I'm very excited because this is the first time I've seen one of my images being embroidered so let's go ahead hook everything up first we are going to use the red here is red this is a uh, sim thread I got this from off of Amazon it came in a box of all of these okay so, I'm a beginner, so this, this is what I got. It was about $20-something, if that. So, let's go up to the top here. Okay, so the thread goes up here. So I'm going to pull this black out. Oop, I drop thread all the time. It's going to be like all over the place. Bad. Okay, so let me just go ahead and... So, here we go. Have, we're going to use our red. Where are you going? Okay, we <laughs> use the red. I'm going to go open this up, put it on top of there, put it inside of the hole there, see the hole, put it inside there, and then we have this little piece here that goes on top of the thread, put that up there like that. Now, here we go threading it, try to do this best way I can because I'm using one hand, I don't know how I'm going to do this, okay so. You take the thread, can you see? Take the thread, you want to bring it, see this right here? Can you see? Y'all don't even see where I'm at. I'm everywhere but where I'm supposed to be at. Okay, see this right here? You want to make sure that thread goes in there. Try to do this with one hand. Okay, got it in there. And then you want to bring it over here, around here. And then it's going to go down in here. Right, down inside that little slit. And it's numbers, one, two, Th uh, three, three, one, two, three, four. The four is here, five, and all that. So now we're back. Let me see. Let me get you where I need you to be. Okay. And then, so we're down here. But we're going to loop it under here and up. Uh, and there's a hook inside of there. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is ridiculous. I'm trying to do this with a. Can you guys see? It's a hoop inside of there, the silver hoop. Okay. So. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put it in there. Make sure it catches. Make sure it catches in there. Okay, so it caught in there, and then we bring it down here. Now, okay, so we're going to take this thread, loop it around six, and then bring it up in around seven. And hopefully it does not come out. And then there's a button over here. It's a little sliding button here. Let me just take it. We have this button right here, this little knob right here. We're going to pull it down, okay? So when we pull it down, it's going to latch on. It's going to put it in like a little knot, like a little tie. You see it on the needle? Okay. And then you can cut the excess off. Okay, so now we're going to tip. So let me cut this off. Cut it about here. Okay. Get that excess thread out the way. So now what we're gonna do, and as you and, and right in the inside here, this right here is how you put your uh how you put your foot down. This is the foot. So you push that up and down. So you, we're gonna have it up so we can load our our hoop and we'll we'll put it down when, when we're ready to embroider. So and with since the hoop is up, all you gotta do is slide it in there that and then there are there are little holes here and there are two little um, round hoops here for you to connect so you just lift it and connect them both there Wait a minute and push it down like that so there we have it so now we are going to embroider our design as a patch so let's get straight to it 
Are y'all excited as excited as I am? Oh. I don't know if you can you cut that off. I don't know. Okay, so let's just get started. So you have to pull that lever down. You pull that lever down, the light turns green. Means it is time to embroider. And then all you have to do is press that button. And it starts. And it starts. And this is going to take 13 minutes. Okay, see that? It's beautiful. We not done yet. We still got We got some more to do So I'm gonna go ahead and switch um, I showed you guys how to I'm not going to show you guys how to Load and connect again because I showed with, with the red so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the next color and I'll be right back Okay, so I, I loaded the um, the next color in and I'm gonna go ahead and put the Sorry, down and my button is green. I Means ready to go. Now we are doing the black. Okay, this next color is going to take two minutes. So you know what so it moved over so it could start on the other side so instead of doing it's supposed to be black next to be the outline but instead I think I'm gonna do let it finish let it do the other word life on in red and then um, we'll have the red as the outline like the black is here I want to see what that looks like and remember you can do whatever color you want to do so that's what's so dope about this so let, let me just try that
And then it tells you that it is finished embroidering. All that time I thought I was recording. So I took it, I took it, I took it off the hoop and everything. Now I'm cutting around it. We have to clean it up. I thought I was I wasn't even recording. Cutting it out. This is what it looks like. That is fire. You see that? And we just gotta cut um what I think I might do is I'm going to cut the letters and stuff off here. And then I'm going to have to cut around them. Just because it's too much white around it. Around it. So right now it's just going to be the heart. Until I figure out a better way. But as you can see... It definitely came out good. I don't have no complaints. Came out good. Let's gonna go ahead and cut back in here. Try not to cut your thread. I'll just cut all the excess thread out. I need my little teeny scissors. I don't see my little teeny scissors, but and then all of this sticking out in the back. Just gonna clean all that up, get all that together. I remember I said that I wanted to make it a patch. Like an iron on patch. Well it is a patch, but I wanted to make it an iron on patch. And we'll also um I wanna a minute. also I think the iron on um stabilizer paper, I don't even know if that's what that's what we calling it, but um that's gonna lock all of this right here in so it won't even be unthreatened and stuff like that. So that's what the back of it looks like. And that's what the front of it looks like. I can clean up a little bit better, but I ain't really gonna make it perfect, perfect because this is just for purposes of the video. Show you guys a few things. Um, this is my first, this is my first time get, having one of my designs done, and and myself making it into a patch. So can you see? That looks beautiful. Oh my God. Okay. So, um, this design, I didn't realize I had so many different colors in this design. Um, but what I did is I switched out a bunch of the colors to different colors. Now, um, the good thing about embroidering, I think you can do, even though the screen says one color, you can do what you want to do. So let's go ahead and, um, work on putting the iron on pa the iron on paper on the back of it. So you can, we can make it an iron on patch. So be right back. Thank you, uh...